order so that people remember. So the second film was uh, Rina by uh, Rita uh, Pestana. Mm -hmm. um, can you also contextualize a little bit the, the film and how you, you know, started to work on, on this project? Yes. So it starts with a question because I was uh, thinking about these um, bodies that they are in the world, but they they breathe, they live, but they are absent in a way. So uh, then I thought the, about the the people who take care of this um, of these people. Usually they are women. Uh, they are the caregiver, the um, take givers of the these people. And and then I thought. That these people found, uh, found that these women found them themselves in an impossible situation, because this is like a, a full-time job. You have to stay and take care of these people for 24 hours, and uh, in your mind, there you're thinking about that all the time. So uh, if you stay with this um, person and taking care of, of them, you will start to lose your own life because uh, you're not able to make your own choices because you are living the, the other person's life. But if you leave, probably you'll feel some guilt that, can't, uh, that your life can't go on because you are feeling probably this guilt all the time. So it starts with this question, what does these people do? How can they live with that? How can they uh, find their own lives? So then I, said, I, I thought that I'd didn't want to make um, a disease like um, I wanted a, a disability. Uh, like I choose the alcohol because it's something it's something that we don't usually see as a disease, but it actually is, and um, and it's a bit more tricky because sometimes we uh, see this person, the alcoholic, as someone bad. Uh, but when you have like um, a link, an effectual link with the person, it's more complicated than that, and it's more complicated to leave that person. So yeah, I started that way, and then I created this relationship between father and daughter. And how did you uh, find uh, the main character? Uh, first, I started with um, um, interviewing uh, many women in Brazil that uh, had uh, uh, alcohol or have an alcoholic father. And then uh, I, we spent like one month interviewing these different kinds of women. And in the end, I was certain that I meet an actress who has, uh, that has to be really fragile and uh, really tired, but at the same time, really strong. And then I open a, a casting, and when I see Sinara, Sinara Telge, the actress of the film, I remember to look at her and uh, feel something like, I think I found her. And when I filmed her and I looked at her, her eyes through the camera, I was sure. And then she delivered this part, and uh, I think she was amazing. And you also film a lot of the, the city. Um, how, with certain impressions, like to, uh, like different, um, um, I mean, different frames, one over the other. Can you also uh, say a little bit about yes. that? Yes, uh, because I think when we are in this situation, I think that we feel that uh, somehow people are looking at you. They are not, but we have the feel that you are always being looking at, because you know that you have something that you have to resolve in you. So I wanted to the city to become a character as well. And I wanted this character that uh, seems that they are looking at you all the time. So I wanted to put the camera uh, to these people that make part of the city, but at the same time, seems that they are looking at you, but they are not. And I lived in the uh, Belo Horizonte, the city where we shoot it, for uh, almost 10 years. And I have a really passion with this city. And I wanted, like I said, to make it's a character as well, and I choose this way to do it. Thank you very much. Okay. And maybe then the third film that we saw, um, 